So this is relatively new news to me. I knew about it about a month ago, but I didn't know about it before. But on October 25th of 2022, NHTSA issued a manufacturer safety recall. Improper urethane sealing high voltage battery pack Hummer EV. General Motors has decided that a defect which relates to motor vehicle safety exists in certain 2022-2023 model year GMC Hummer EV vehicles. The high voltage battery pack enclosure in some of these vehicles may not have been properly sealed. If the pack enclosure is not sealed, water can enter the pack. GM is aware of three confirmed reports of this condition causing water to enter the battery pack. That's not good. Now people always wonder, what's in the backpack? Basically anything and everything I think I'm gonna need during the day. I got a jacket in there, I gotta grab batteries. We also need car keys, Hummer key, we got TRX key. Now I realize the garage is an absolute disaster, but let me explain. So all this red brick right here, eventually someday, one day it's gonna go inside the house. I've paid for the brick, but I'm not quite ready to pay to have it installed. So uh, uh, this arrived from Fitment Industries, more to come on that. And then recycling appears to be a never ending fiasco. However, we have some very, very exciting news. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. All the way from Baldwinville, Massachusetts, my dad's truck has made it back here to the beautiful state of Utah. Now we're gonna drive this thing for the first time today. We're gonna register it as well, but she has officially landed. Let's, let's, let's go. Come on, come on, baby. I also have to point out how extremely disappointed I am in the state of Utah. It is probably 42 degrees Fahrenheit, it is windy, and it is absolutely freezing, and it is the end of April. So without further ado, and don't look at the garage, don't pay attention to that, don't look at this box either. This is a cold startup on a Hummer EV. as the perfect tripod. You see, case in point, it's so versatile. This existing recall for the Hummer EV is actually wild and it's so significant that General Motors actually had to halt production until they figured out the remedy for the water issue. And the remedy is actually wild and my biggest single regret, I should have driven this truck more. I've had it for about a year. I put 2,500 miles on it. It's by far and away, in my opinion, the coolest EV in the world. Now the remedy for the water issue, they're replacing the battery. And I'm not talking a $100 battery you get at a discount auto parts store. They're replacing the battery pack. It's 4,000 pounds. It's effectively the powertrain of the truck. They gotta drop the existing battery. They gotta replace it. They'll probably have it for maybe like a week or two. I should have driven the truck more because I'm getting a new battery. It's kind of wild. Now I think probably the craziest part about all of this, General Motors has over 90,000 orders to fulfill on the new Hummer EV. And to date, at the end of quarter one, March 31st, 2023, they've delivered 854 of them. And only two of those deliveries were in quarter one of 2023. So they got a lot of Hummers to build. Now I still think it's the coolest EV in the entire world. I love this truck more than any other truck I've ever had. They got a lot to build. Now on that bomb show, I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by Fitment Industries. Now I already know you guys know who Fitment Industries is, and you already know they're the number one source, the premier source for wheels tires, performance suspension, and accessories. Their online gallery makes it so easy to visualize what style of wheels are gonna look perfect on your car. And they also help ensure that the fitment is equally as perfect. You guys saw the wheels we put on Johnny's NSX. They are 10 of 10. Well, we now have air suspension from Airlift Performance for my brand new Nissan Z. It is a one-stop shop. We have everything we need. We got air management, we got air struts, and it was one click on fitmentindustries.com. Honestly, it's too easy. Now, you guys know I love cars, but you also know I am not very technical and when it comes to wheel sizes or offsets, I am completely lost. When it comes to air suspension, I have no idea what's going on. The entire team over at Fitman Industries, they're super helpful, they're knowledgeable. If you have a car, if you modify a car, if you accessorize a car, you gotta check out fitmanindustries.com. Use my name Stradman at checkout. They are truly the ultimate one-stop shop for wheels, tires, performance, accessories, and suspension. Check out the link below to fitmanindustries.com. We just got here to Envision. As far as a Ferrari, this might be the most sinister, most Batmobile car I've ever seen in my entire life. It is a matte black 812 GTS. This thing is so, so, so sick. Is it for sale? Yeah. Yeah. You can't buy it. <laughs> I can't afford it. Wow, I see what you mean. Look, Chad's <laughs> just putting in the work and we're acting like idiots on camera. I mean, you're working too as well, but uh, yeah. Nate, I just want to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, you know? Well, I dropped off the Nissan Z yesterday morning. Chad has been working around the clock and straight away we are unboxing the kit from Airlift Performance. So the wheels are off, the suspension is already out as well. This thing is going to be so crazy when it's finally done. I think the biggest problem with the Nissan Z, other than the front end that only a mother could love, I said too much, is that the car rides way too high. As I mentioned earlier from Fitment Industries, this was one click of the button. I got everything I could possibly need. We got two compressors. We got all the air struts. We got the management as well. We got everything we could ever want. Nice manifold. 
beautiful manifold. Oh, wow. yeah. As far as manifolds I've seen, I mean, it is probably the most beautiful manifold I've ever laid eyes on in my entire life. I think she Nate and I hiring. can both agree we gotta find you a girl who looks at you the way Chad looks at wiring. You were just oogling that. It's mm. good stuff, though. It's good. Chad's it got hose. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That might be my cue to leave. Also, I just want to point out, I got two thirds of the cars in here right now. My Ferrari's broken too, so if we want to do like a Holy Trinity type thing, let me know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's sick. Machined aluminum air tank. Getting your workout in. Is no, that? You feel how light that is. That's not bad. Yeah. That's well, I think it's safe to say that I'm providing no value of any kind whatsoever. We have unboxed the entire kit. We got the struts right here. We have all the management. I'm gonna leave it to you, Chad. I appreciate you. I support you. The best of the best. Don't leave me hanging. I'll see you in a couple yeah. days, though. <laughs> I also want to point out before we leave, we actually dropped off all the carbon fiber Duke Dynamics kit for the event at Orc. So this project is in motion, and we are gonna begin starting on it very, very, very soon. All the carbon doors and everything. When this is done, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It might be the coolest event store in the world. It might not be, but it might. I honestly cannot get over how good that A12 GTS looks. Matte black, it is so sinister. I mean, theoretically, I could wrap my A12 matte black. What do you guys think? I also have to point out Tyrell's Panamera with the ski box and the white wheels, purple. Like, it doesn't get much better. Also, Bentley Continental. That thing is thug life. Did you steal that thing? Oh, what do you think? It's the stripped down version. What is going on? I was just complimenting your Panamera. Best Panamera in the world. My wife's got good taste. Yes, she does. This is a very unexpected surprise. We have the white Aventador Roadster. That thing is so sick. What in the world? Look at that. Every single time I drive this Hummer, I am reminded why it is so cool. I love the rear view camera. That's the perfect view on that Aventador Roadster. As a wise man once said, you hate to see her go, but goodness gracious, do you love to watch her leave? I would assume most people would agree with me on this. My biggest concern about owning an EV is the cost to replace the battery. Now, I'm getting a full replacement battery. It's costing me absolutely nothing because it's a recall. General Motors is covering the entire thing, but I only have 2,300 miles on it. I should have driven this for like 10, 15, 20,000 miles and then gotten a new battery for free, but instead, 2,300 miles and a new battery, but it is what it is. I have to correct a statement I made. It's a 5,000 pound battery. It's not 4,000, it's five, right, 5,000? Yeah, something like 5,000. Something like, like, like 5,000. <laughs> and here she is, so this is two 5,000 pound batteries. Yep. And as you just said, this weighs more than an Aventor. Like one of these batteries is more than that Aventor Roadster we just saw on the highway. And they have like this special dolly tool thingy of some kind. Lithium you know, ion batteries. batteries. Um, I can't even imagine what it would be like to ship one of these things. They always check you at the airport, like, do you have any lithium ion batteries? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got a we got a 5,000 pound one. That's gonna be wild. I can't, I can't wait to see the process. Big time shout out to the homies here at Jerry Signer. They actually paid for my lift and right on time every time. It's just too easy, too easy. And 25 minutes later, we are back to home sweet home. So now's the real test of the video. We're gonna drive my dad's truck for the very, very first time. We're gonna try to go to the Utah DMV. We are unregistered. We're gonna have the title. We're gonna have the bill of sale. So like we have an appointment at two o'clock. Uh, hopefully we don't get pulled over and hopefully the truck doesn't break, but I guess we'll find out. Of course, the big moment is true. Step one, will the truck even turn on? Come on, baby. Come on, okay. It's a little tender love and care. Little tender love and care. Got an appointment at 2.50, this is not a good start. She turned on last night off the truck. Oh, oh, she wants to. Let her prime, let her prime. Every, every time baby, every time. I know this means absolutely nothing to nobody watching this video except for maybe my older brothers. We're driving my dad's old truck, she purrs. At some point there was, a, there was an engine swap because when my dad sold it, it had a V6, we now have a 350 V8 and it, 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 it drives much better. It's a lot more power, a lot more gumption. As far as the reliability of this truck, very, very shaky. So we're gonna drive to the DMV. We're gonna drive home immediately because, well, I don't, I don't really want to call a tow truck. I can't see anything whatsoever right now. I have no windshield wipers. We're gonna stop at the gas station. We're gonna fill her up with some premium and we're, we're gonna try to clean the windshield as well. But uh, the weather's a little unfortunate. I don't know if the blinker actually works. I would imagine this truck is very, very illegal. However, the power steering, like the power steering is on point. The fuel gauge is showing empty. I don't know if it works or if it's actually empty. I have. Absolutely no idea, but the power steering. Also, we got the tachometer right there. That is aftermarket. The steering wheel is aftermarket, and the V8 is aftermarket. But uh, yeah, we're gonna put some premium in her. As you can imagine, I have no idea how much fuel is actually in the truck. We're filling it up with some 91. I don't want to overfill it because, for whatever reason, I feel like it's not gonna have the stop feature. I feel like it's just gonna overfill. So we're gonna be cautious. 
I can't imagine this girl's been on the road very often. It was last registered in January of 2018. So five years ago was the last time it was registered. I don't know if it's been driven in five. I have no, I have absolutely no idea. A little round two shake and bake. All day. I think the fuel gauge is working. We added $30, which was seven gallons. We're at three eighths of a tank. Sounds about right. I uh, don't know exactly what to say. There's some weird bug in here from Massachusetts. It looks like a black bee, like a black hornet. What is that thing? We have to make an emergency pit stop real quick. There is some very, very, very gross bug that is underneath these trim pieces and uh, it looks like a black hornet. Oh no, 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 no. The door is jerry rigged uh, so it won't fly open, but the insect just, it just went down. It's right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's disgusting. So the bug is in that hole right there. This is so gross. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh, okay, get, come on, come on this way. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, I can't get this guy to leave his truck. He's probably lived here for like, well, they don't live that long, but I don't know if it's a black hornet. When I say black hornet, I'm completely making that up. I don't even know if that exists. It's very important to note, this truck definitely needs fumigated. 100%, the first modification we are doing is a full fumigation. Fumig I don't know if that's a word, but yeah. I learned how to drive in this truck when I was 14 years old. My dad, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It just went behind the seat. What, did you guys see that? It's literally staring me. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. I, 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 I don't know what to do. Um. Um, this is terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. I'm not usually scared of bugs, but that thing is scary. It's down here. I don't know what to do. I, I know this is the dumbest sequence of all time, but like legitimately, this truck has been sitting outside for 18 years in Massachusetts, and I don't know what that thing is. And it, it went down beneath the seat cushion, and, and my DMV appointment is in two minutes. I'm just gonna leave the window open, and maybe that bug will, will, will fly free. Welcome to the Utah DMV. And 27 minutes later, we are good to go. I was never planning to leave this truck outside even one single night ever. However, we got to do a little fumigation. It's going to get very, 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 very cold here in Utah. And so don't tell PETA, but I think that might do the trick. It's so cool to see this truck bed, like the wooden truck bed. We got holes in it left and right. Obviously that tire needs air. The whole thing is tilted this way. It looks like a piece of junk, but this might be more special than any other car I own. This truck is gonna need a lot of love, but the first modification is complete. She's registered, she is legal. That being said, I don't actually know if the blinkers work or the brake lights or the headlights. You know what, I also realize I'm incriminating myself. So, you know what, on that bombshell, today's video, yep, today's video is over.